Hey guys, what's up? This is Mario here, bringing you guys another video, and today we're going to be going over the House of Wolves weekly update for April 15th. So this is a short mini-series that I'm going to be doing on the channel, uh, where I'm going to be telling you guys every Wednesday about the latest information on the House of Wolves. Uh, so if you guys want to come back here each week on a Wednesday just to see what's been happening uh, as far as news for the House of Wolves, then you can do. Today we're just going to be talking about everything that we know about the House of Wolves so far. You've probably heard all of this information, but some of it is stuff that I've found on databases, uh, and some of it is also stuff that you may not know, so just stick around. Um, so anyways, let's get into what the House of Wolves is. The House of Wolves is Destiny's second expansion pack and will cost $19.99 to buy as a standalone expansion or $34.99 to buy the House of Wolves alongside the Dark Below. The expansion is set to release on Tuesday, May 19th this year uh, and this is what we currently know what the expansion will contain. So we know that there's going to be some new story missions although Bungie hasn't said exactly how many. We just know there's going to be some story missions. Um... There's also going to be three new Crucible maps, uh, which we have potential names for, uh, which are the Timekeeper, which is set on Mars, Thieves' Den, which is set on Venus, and Widow's Court, which is set on Earth. We also know of one new strike mission, which is currently possibly going to be called Belly of the Beast and will be set on the moon. And there's also a second strike in the database, which is called the Shadow Thief, uh, which could possibly be a PlayStation exclusive strike that will come for PS3 and PS4 users. Um, the, the expansion will also bring the Trials of Osiris, which is a new competitive Crucible elimination mode which requires winning and high levels of skill to reap rewards. Then we have the Prison of Elders, which is an all-new three-player cooperative arena activity that we currently don't know a lot about. And it's also likely that there will be a new social space in, set in the Reef, uh, which will be similar to the Tower, except maybe with new vendors, new things you can do there. Uh, but we'll probably find this out later, uh, later on in the weeks to come. Uh, there will be no raid in the expansion. We learned this uh, shortly after the first information of House of Wolves was released. Um, Bungie said that there will be no raid, but they are working on one for later this year. Whether that be in the Comet DLC or whether that be in between uh, the House of Wolves and the Comet DLC, we actually don't know. Uh, but there won't be a raid coming uh, on day one with the expansion. Uh, once the expansion launches, you'll be able to upgrade weapons to an attack stat of 365. So it'll go from 331 to 365. And it's also believed that there'll be some way to upgrade the Vault of Glass weapons due to this picture of the Fatebringer hand cannon on the picture that Bungie revealed uh, with the 300 stat going up to 365. Uh, so we believe that Vault of Glass weapons will be able to be upgraded in some way. Uh, currently, this is most of what we actually know about the expansion, but Bungie does have a calendar of events that will fully reveal several different parts of the expansion. Uh, this is how it's going to work. So Bungie will be hosting several live streams over the coming weeks uh, that will reveal uh, different parts of the content in the coming in the House of Wolves. Uh, so let's begin with Wednesday, the April, uh, April 22nd. Uh, where Bungie will take us on a walking tour of the reef with a live discussion about the upgrade paths for your gear. Uh, this will be touring whatever there is to do in the reef as well as discussing how we will upgrade our gear and progress further in the game. Um, it's possible, and this is something that I've been hearing a lot, is that we may in the reef have a way to upgrade legendary weapons instead of just exotic weapons from Jeu. There might be like a vendor, maybe there's going to be like a weekly vendor in the reef uh, that will upgrade legendary weapons rather than exotics. Uh, then on Wednesday, April 29th, uh, this will bring the reveal of the, and live gameplay of course, of the Trials of Osiris Crucible mode and its collection of endgame content. Uh, this will be great to watch if you're a Crucible player at the minute as you'll be learning about the upcoming features being added to the Crucible and how you can get the high level rewards from the Trials of Osiris. Then on Wednesday, May 6th, uh, we will see the reveal and live gameplay of the thing that we're going to be playing for the next probably few months, uh, which is the Prison of Elders Arena activity, uh, which is described as a brand new three-player cooperative multiplayer arena. Now, this is very exciting, and I know a lot of people have been disappointed in the fact that there isn't going to be a raid uh, on day one, but I'm actually really excited to see what they do with the arena, and I'll actually be discussing in a video 
left uh, on my channel at some point uh, my thoughts and ideas on what could happen in the arena. Or my idea of what the arena is going to be essentially. So hopefully you guys will look forward to that video. And then finally there will be another sort of release whether it will be on Twitch or not. Um, there will be a release on Friday, May 8th, uh, but Bungie has not told us anything about what they're going to be releasing. So we believe that it's going to be something quite special, whether it be story missions, whether it be the story, whether they make, make like a live playthrough, or just everything in the, in the expansion, we don't know yet. Um, but I'm sure we'll find out on Friday, May 8th. But anyways, that's everything that we know about the House of Wolves for this week. Uh, tune in next week on Wednesday for another weekly update where we'll go over uh, what Bungie reveal on April 22nd. Um, when they're going to take us for a walking tour of the reef with a live discussion about upgrade paths for your gear. So anyways guys, thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, remember to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming content. Remember to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Twitch. Links in the description below. And I'll see you guys in another video. So until then, ciao.